Now we go to Jonty Mills, who is the CEO of Water Safety New Zealand. Good evening, Jonty. Yeah, good evening, Mary. How are you? I'm very well, Jonty. This is a tragedy. Uh, what about wearing a life jacket? That would have made a difference, do you believe? Yeah, look, absolutely. First and foremost, it is a tragedy for community and families in any preventable drowning situation. And look, without being too specific about this, uh, this situation, we certainly know that if you end up in the water without a life jacket, you're far less likely to survive should you, than you if you had had one. Is it common to see fishers wearing life jackets or not? Well, it's not as common as we'd like, and we're a strong advocate of, of uh, wearing life jackets in any kind of high-risk water situation, and uh, the research clearly shows that you're far more likely to survive you know, had you been wearing a life jacket than if you hadn't. But we're seeing more and more of these cases like this, aren't we? Yeah, look, and I think uh, the, the, the West Auckland situation is a good example. We're seeing uh, far higher participation in this type of activity, rock fishing and crab fishing, and particularly with new New Zealanders who may not be familiar or aware of the local conditions. So it is becoming a more of a risk situation, Larry, with more people participating in this type of activity. How do we deal with this? More signs, more education? How? Look, all of the above, and I know that those West Auckland beaches, uh, especially that there is there is a lot of warnings and a lot of signage. Um, but look, we are dealing with a really diverse population. Uh, a lot of new New Zealanders coming to this country, and it's uh, it's, a, it's a challenge to get through to these uh, high risk communities and uh, a diverse population, so that they are all aware of the local conditions and, and then are able to make wise decisions around those. Johnny, thank you, Johnny Mills, CEO of Water Safety New Zealand.